The following tutorial will discuss how to take a quiz that's created in Word and using the GIFT format upload those questions to the question bank in Moodle. Many faculty have asked how do I take a current quiz I created in Microsoft Word and upload the questions into Moodle. One way is to use a text editor if you're on a Mac or notepad on Windows and use the GIFT G -I -F -T, format to put your quiz into a format that can be easily uploaded into Moodle. The GIFT format allows for the creation of multiple choice, true false, short answer, match missing word, and numerical questions. For this tutorial we'll be looking at multiple choice. Let's look at our quiz in Microsoft Word. So this is the current quiz that we have in Microsoft Word. It's just a five question quiz. First we want to do a select all, right click, and copy. At this point we need to open up the notepad. So we want to go to programs, accessories, and down to notepad. Once in notepad we want to do edit, paste, or right click, paste. And now we want to edit the document using the GIFT format. Now I'm going to actually go out and show you the Moodle Docs support page for GIFT format. If you ever want to look up information on Moodle, you can always go to docs.moodle.org. I'm actually going to scroll down on this page just to um, show some of the symbols that are used in the GIFT format. Here are some common GIFT symbols when creating your quizzes using the GIFT format. So let's go back to Notepad and I'm actually going to click to maximize. At the top of this document I'm going to put the forward slash forward slash quiz1. This indicates a comment and we're going to use that comment to put a title at the top of this quiz. Now we need to start formatting our questions. First thing we want to do is to put a colon colon and right after this is the question name. This is how the question appears in the question bank. I typically will put the question name to be the same thing as the actual question. So that way you don't have to go through and click on all of your questions in the question bank to find out which question is what. Um, so if you were to put the question name as question one and you had 15 question ones, you would have to go through and click on each one in order to figure out which one is the one that you want in your quiz. So we're going to keep the question name to be the same as the actual question. So we need to put another colon colon and we're going to paste in the rest. So now our question name and the actual question itself are the same. We now will put in an open bracket. Now in front of the correct answer we want to put an equals. So we're going to get rid of this and put an equals in. And in front of the wrong answers, you want to put the tilde. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the tilde in front of the wrong answers. And at the end, we put a closed bracket. You want to make sure that there is a space in between each of the questions. Now we do have one exception. So the question here at the bottom we're going to put the colon colon, we're going to copy, colon colon, paste, open bracket, and in this case since equals is a part of the question we need to make sure that we put a backslash in front of the equals so that way when uploading to Moodle it doesn't see the equals as a part of the formatting and then we would continue by putting an equals in front of the correct and a tilde again in front of the wrong answers. Now I've went ahead and completed the rest of the formatting again colon colon the question name colon colon the question itself, open bracket, equals in front of the correct answer, tilde in front of the wrong answers, and a close bracket. Once you have done that and you click Save, 
you open up your Moodle course. Once I've logged into Moodle, I need to navigate out to the course that I wish to upload these questions to. I'm going to use my ATS training course. I'm going to minimize the navigation block just so that way my settings block comes up higher and it's easier to access. I'm going to expand the question bank under the settings block and I'm going to go look at my categories. Now I already have a first quiz here but I'm going to go ahead and create another category called quiz 1. I want to make sure that the parent category is set to default for ATS training course so whatever your course name will be right after the default 4. I'm going to call this quiz 1 and click on add category. We want to create categories as containers for questions. So that way later on when you're actually building your quiz, you can pull the questions from the appropriate category. Now that I have my category created, I'm going to go back down and under the question bank, I'm going to click import. We want to make sure to choose the gift format and under import category choose quiz 1 and under import questions from file click on choose a file and I'm going to browse out and grab this text file it is called quiz 1 underscore ANSI txt and click upload this file once you've chosen the file, you want to click on Import. Now we see that five questions have been imported. You can now scroll down and verify that the questions were imported properly and click Continue. Now in the question bank, we have a category that has five questions. If we scroll down, we see the questions. To the right of the question, we have an edit button, so if you need to go through and edit that question, you can view or preview the question, or you can actually delete the question. At this point, you could also click on the create a new question and actually go through and actually create a question manually versus uploading the questions into the question bank. If you have questions or need additional training, please contact Samuel Williams, the Academic Technology Specialist and Trainer, at williasa at up.edu.